Hello and welcome to once again a very quick tutorial and this is um, a request by Marcus's FX. I think uh, you requested how to set up a C CG projector and then clearly use uh, volumetrics to show the light rays onto the screen. So um, that's what we're going to do in this quick uh, tutorial. So to start off, I just did a quick setup of a um, projector onto a wall and we're going to use uh, our lights um, you know, coming from the lens of the projector straight onto the, uh, the white wall over here. So we used a quick setup of a, um, a black dark room that will help in the, the volumetrics. <clears throat> so um, without further ado, let's quickly jump into it. So I have a light, the default light over here and we will just quickly just set it up okay so we we'll have a quick light setup and I'll, um, i could take my time to try and set it up but we will just want to see how the process is really done so um for this to work we need to work on cycles so quickly set it up over there and we will now begin the process so to do this we need to add a use notes so what this will do is add a, an emission uh, node to the light setup that we can access using the shader editor so with the shader editor we'll just come down here and we'll connect an image so you can connect either a video or uh, an image but for the purpose of this video we'll quickly just use only an image now to uh, begin to see a preview of this we need to switch to the display render and this is not showing so for this to work we add in our texture coordinates and we will use the normal to connect to this so it now begins to show the emission from the, the light source and just a couple of things that we can quickly do. One is the the blur, the blur. So to reduce to get rid of that, we will reduce our radius to one. So we can actually sh see how sharp it comes out. <laughs> so to get rid of this tile in the image settings we will have to get rid of the repeats and set it to clip so as you see here um, the mapping is all off a bit but we will get to solve we will get to solve it quickly now to do that we would have to apply the mapping the mapping node and connect this to this So let's begin to do this is you mess around with the location and the scale. So let's say two and two. Okay. image appears um, to have rotated so what we can do is we can change the orientation of the light source itself to make it appear more of it screen
So what we do is now um, because we are dealing with the spotlights, it's giving us and it's cutting out the shape of the Giving us the shape of the of the the lights, the cone. So what I will do is I will switch back to point light, and there uh, you can now see we get it evenly as the rectangular shape. So with this, what we'll do is just be moving the positions just a tiny bit so just to get it to align on the screen so what we can do is we can scale it down a bit further oops sorry what we we'll do is oh sorry 2.7 So you can resize it using the the mapping. So what we'll do is we will leave it at this. So <clears throat> this gives us a, a quick overview. So if you want to apply just a bit of a blur, you can increase it using the emissions over here. Now um, to quickly be able to try and then get the volumetrics to work with this. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to add in a principled volume to the world to the world um, setting. Now we have our background over here. We we'll add a principled volume and we we'll add it to our volume. Now. The density would have to reduce it over here to 0.1. And now I begin to see the, the light rays showing through. And to increase it, we will actually use the strength over here. We can use a 3. And you actually get the shape. So um, this is just a quick tutorial to let me get a better view over here. So I have two light setups in here to show the projected bit. So I'll increase this to say 500 watts for one corner. This side to another 500 at this corner, so I can actually tell you know the light sources will you know give the room a bit of light while also throwing the light rays from the from the projector. So uh, just give it a sec, and voila. So this is a quick setup. We can actually go in and tweak it a bit more to, you know, get it to you know, align properly on whatever surface you wish to use. <clears throat> so this is a quick tutorial on how to get um, light to emit a picture onto any uh, surface and then give it a, a projector uh, effect. Thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next one.